all of culture this is based around approximations. Given some quantity that we want to know, we approximate it. We then make our approximation better and better until we've actually found the exact value that we're looking for. Let's see an example of this in action. In particular, say an object is dropped off of a 10 meter platform. Then if we neglect air resistance, its height from the ground after T seconds is 10 minus 4.9 T squared. Let's ask a question. After exactly one second, how fast is the object falling? We do not have the tools to answer this question. So thinking about what I said about calculus being based on approximations, let's ask how we might be able to approximate the velocity of this falling object. Well, what we do have available to us is average velocity. The average velocity of this object on a time interval is its average rate of change on that time interval. From this, we have the following brain wave. We could approximate the exact velocity at one second by looking at average velocities on small intervals including one. What's our rationale for this approximation? That is to say, why do we think that this average velocity might approximate the velocity we're looking for? The answer to that is that acceleration takes time. This object is accelerating at a constant 9.8 meters per second squared. If only a little time passes, 0.1 seconds, the object isn't accelerating much over this interval, and the velocity at the beginning of the interval and the velocity at the end of the interval should be approximately equal. And the average velocity on the interval should approximately equal either of those velocities. With that as our ID, that this average velocity should approximate this exact velocity because not a lot of acceleration can happen in the span of 0.1 seconds. How could we make this approximation better? Well, if not a lot of acceleration is happening over the course of 0.1 seconds, even less acceleration is happening over the, point, the course of 0 0.01 seconds. If the falling object only has 0 0.01 seconds to accelerate, the average velocity becomes this. 
And now um, it's hopefully kind of clear where we can go from this. If we buy the idea that the smaller the interval, the closer this average velocity comes to being the exact velocity, then we can get better and better approximations by making the interval smaller and smaller. Let's summarize this idea. To approximate the exact velocity at one, we looked at average velocities on intervals of the form one comma b. The closer this b got to being one, the closer the average velocities we found were to the exact velocity we were looking for. You see that here, 1.1, 1 1.01, 1 1.001, 1 1 .001. we were letting B get closer and closer to one. But, and this is a key observation, B cannot actually equal one. If B equaled one, and we tried to compute the average velocity, we'd get a division by zero error. So we want to let this B get closer and closer to one without actually equaling one. In this class, we'll take that idea and run with it.